Well, good evening East Africa. Welcome to yet a brand new week of the desk and trust me it's gonna be an exciting one because now more than ever I'm used to Shadra Shagaf Kisame and by the way tonight is gonna be somewhat a very inspirational episode because the man in the chair I'm telling you when I had his story today at the event it was mind-boggling because this is a man who actually had to spare his lunch box so that he can have lunch and supper in the same meal Ladies and gentlemen, he had to bake bricks for tuition at campus. Long story short, he is the country lead for Vijana Corps. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Dennis Pato is on the show. Now, Dennis, welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, good to see you. The fact that um, it's been a year of, for me looking for you, there's a lot to catch up on. <laughs> there's a lot. One, how you're going to make the youth, um, the marginalized youth to get hard. Two, how you're trying to revolutionize the civil, you know, uh, uh, space. Yeah. But before that, I just want you to explain to us how, because someone is watching you from probably Chikubamutwe or somewhere, and take us to that experience. You had to divide your meal so that you can eat it, because you did not have food at home. Let me just understand that quickly. No, here's the thing. My, my story is not unique. And what you heard today is uh, just me re-echoing the story that uh, many families go through, uh, where you either have a meal a day or none right. on certain days. Right. Uh, so th that comes from many places mm -hmm. where either both parents are not working or only one parent is working and right. it's a, a menu joke. Uh, is that real? Are people going through that, Dennis? Uh, you're living in this country and you're asking if people are going through that? It's a reality. It's, you know, a, it's, it's a lived reality. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the poverty is not just numbers. Yeah. Poverty is lived. And so the experience that I shared mm -hmm. uh, today is one that I have lived and one that I would say I'm moving away from and I would like to take as many youth out of that with me as possible. As possible. You, you, you backed bricks, you laid bricks to get tuition. Yes, I did at some point. Uh, that was not in campus. That was in secondary school. Secondary school? Yes, yes. We are talking of a 16-year-old boy. Uh, I think 17 by then. Right. Yeah, because the circumstance at home was not supportive mm -hmm. of uh, my education. And so I wanted to uh, find space in a hostel, but my parents could not afford it. Mm -hmm. And my enabler, who was paying my fees at that time, uh, could not um, afford hostel and fees. So I spoke to the school administration mm -hmm. and they allowed me to lay bricks because there was a brick laying project in uh, school. Yeah. So they allowed me to lay bricks with the understanding that my fees would be subsidized. Mm -hmm. And then I spoke to my enabler mm -hmm. who agreed that the money that would have gone into school fees right. uh, would then be spent on hostel and related costs. My goodness. This man. He is direct and he tells you what he has gone through. Vijana Cops, how do you start? Let's just, just paint a picture for people. So this organization, Vijana Core, mm -hmm. started in 2013. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I love reading. I read a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, so it started partly as a result of passion, the passion to read, but also uh, directly as a result of my experience with uh, poverty and the work I had started doing. Right. Uh, so I started working in 2008 as mm -hmm. a volunteer in one of the local organizations in Kampala. Mm -hmm. And when, uh, when I took up the volunteer desk, I was trusted to run the interface between young people and that organization mm -hmm. because it was a youth serving organization. Right. So my job was to connect the youth to the organization mm -hmm. through letters, phone calls. Mm -hmm. uh, there was no social media by then. Facebook was there, but it was not what it is today right. that you can reach out to. Yeah, they are not blown out fully to the extent that we have today. Right. So I, I received over 20,000 letters a, a, a year mm -hmm. from young people from across Uganda. And my job was to log them mm -hmm. and, you know, siphon out the details of what these young people were writing about. And right. there were usually very sensitive issues to do with the sexual reproductive health. Right. And some of them were emergency issues. Mm -hmm. And it was a difficult amount of work. I mean, logging 20,000 letters mm -hmm. one by one. And it was a real challenge that that particular organization was going through at the time. Mm -hmm. So 
for me it present, presented an opportunity. Yeah. So what yeah. I did, I developed a database, mm -hmm. which I taught myself on the job. Uh, I taught myself to make your work easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it, it, uh, logging letters one by one by hand on printed paper was impossible. Right. It, it was difficult. It made you look like you were not working. Okay. So I learned how to develop a database in Microsoft Access. Yourself? Yes, myself. I taught myself in 2008. You know, I'm digressing. That's why you see, we, there's so much to talk about. I'm digressing, but we have a lot of. Um, students coming out of campus every year and they cannot even operate those packages and this is what you need as an employer because even with Vijana you're an employer and they cannot maybe in a nutshell before you continue what 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 should we attribute that to the education system are the youth lazy because you taught yourself what what, what do we attribute that to uh, it, it, it's not one single factor yes there is an issue with the, the education system as well uh, but also there's uh, the issue of surrounding mentorship for young people that I, that I think deprives them of the push uh, and the opportunity of course to, 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 to direct that push towards in the first place. Right, right. So three things for me, the mentorship, the lack of opportunity in yeah. some cases yeah. and then yeah, you can talk about uh, the, the education system. Education system. Okay, yeah. Yeah, go on uh, in a nutshell as we go for a short break. Yeah, so um, you're logging this this twenty thousand letters. Twenty thousand yeah. letters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, when I develop, I finally learned and developed the database. Yeah. My life changed. I I started rocking it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, the, suddenly what was twenty thousand letters a year, and you had backlogs yeah. every single year because you you would never finish. Yeah. Uh, I was eventually able to clear all 20,000 letters wow. before the end of the year. Wow. So I started dealing with the backlogs from the years that I found, wow. uh, the backlogs that happened before me. Yeah. Long story short, that earned me a job. Remember, I, I had started as a as volunteer. Yes, yeah, so it earned me a job in this organization. Yeah. And uh, I worked there for three years before another opportunity presented itself, mm -hmm. where again I worked for two years. Mm -hmm. And then after those two years, I decided to start with Jana Cops. Jana Cops. Now, with a couple of my colleagues. So it was the experience mm. at that job, that the yes. letter logging job, yes, uh, yes, yes, that uh, exposed me to what young people in this country were going through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because you would read a letter, a detailed letter written by a young person about a real experience that they are they're undergoing, that they're right. going through. Whether it is health or poverty or it's something to do with school, you read that. And sometimes, in some instances, they had numbers of their parents or teachers that you, you could contact them through. Wow. And sometimes you contacted them and had directly from them. And, they, then they and confirmed, it was true. They confirmed to you that, yes, that's my name, that's me, and this is what I'm going through. Wow. So that experience changed my life mm -hmm. because every story that I read mm -hmm. that resonated with my own story yeah. caused me to think, to ask myself, what can be done? Mm -hmm. What can we do? Mm -hmm. What can we do? So fast forward, in 2013, we decided to start a reading program mm -hmm. because, for one, that was the only thing we, we thought we were able to do with the resources that we had yep. and the, the level of passion that we had. Yep. You know, it takes a certain level of passion to be able to do something yep. over and above what money can afford. Right, right. right. So mm -hmm. we had the passion and we didn't have the money. So we decided, let's do what we love to do. With the passion. With the passion. Now, 2013, let's just, just stop there. I go for a short break. When I come back, we talk about 2013 and beyond. Yeah. All right. Now, do not go away. You're still a lovely audience. Do not go away. You're still on the continent seeding intellectual platform the desk I'm coming back Welcome back. Now, if uh, you're just joining us, I'm, I'm afraid you've missed the very first insightful segment of the desk where we're actually having Mr. Dennis Pato, country lead for Vijana Cops. I'm telling you, my, oh my. This is not a man who has just watched things on TV, pocketed them, and now he's giving them to us. He's a hands-on man. He was there. He laid bricks for tuition. Now, if you're still thinking that things are bad, there's light at the end of the tunnel because a man, a young 17-year-old boy who laid bricks, is a now a country lead and is inspiring millions of youths down there. Today, 
We are on the road actually, it's an exclusive. We are in Mokono at their premise. Today has marked a milestone from 2013 because now you launch a strategy for five years now. Yes. Where it's going to take you from 2021 to 2026. Yes, it's big for you. However, before we get to today, take us from 2013 to today. What, what transpired? Just take us. Through. So, uh, there were segments where we did different things. From, um, from 2013 to 2015, we, we pushed with the literacy program. Uh, in Kampala, from Kampala we went to Karamoja and parts of northern Uganda. But uh, there was declining interest because, uh, and I don't want to generalize it, but reading is quite an issue in this country. That's what I was going to ask you, yeah. the adaptability. Yes, mm. so because of that, and because we were not professionals at teaching reading, oh, yes. we were doing it out of passion, mm -hmm. there was a, a decline in interest mm -hmm. and also a difficulty on our end, yeah. strategic difficulty on how to, to, to get it done and done well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that uh, caused a bit of a hiccup for us yeah. along the way. Uh, so it caused us to start thinking innovatively on how to still bring these uh, young people back to sit and uh, read with us. If not reading, then discuss, uh, continue with the, the objective for which the program was started. Mm -hmm. So that took us to the drawing board and we were asking ourselves, why did we start this in the first place? Why do we want them to read? Right. And it is that discussion of why do you want them to exactly. read That's what I was going that to ask. <laughs> led to the expansion of our programming yeah. then from uh, a merely reading program to other aspects that would help us answer the questions of the objective. Right, right. So we introduced film as uh, an additional tool that would uh, help the youth uh, you know, tell stories of uh, their experiences and talk about possible solutions and things like that. So we ran film-based workshops uh, okay. where we would screen a topic of film and then have post-screening discussions. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. And mm -hmm. continue to do that along the same path where we did the reading mm -hmm. uh, with the youth. Uh, and then later we introduced the aspects of them now telling their own stories. Yeah. So we started filmmaking, teaching, uh, teaching storytelling to the youth. Uh, mm -hmm. We would teach them the entire cycle of what is, uh, what is uh, involved in telling a story and turning it into a film, script writing, mm -hmm. uh, the camera work, lighting, mm -hmm. editing and so on. So we ran filmmaking boot camps with the youth. So at the back of your minds, you're trying to develop their literacy. We are developing uh, not just their literacy. From mm -hmm. that point, it had expanded because, I, like I said, we had to ask ourselves, why are we doing this? Right. What is the objective? Right. And uh, then we realized that what we wanted to achieve was to improve the cognitive abilities mm -hmm. of young people. Right. And then we told ourselves it was possible to improve it mm -hmm. uh, with more than just reading. Yeah. Reading was yeah. good, but if it wasn't working, then we had to think innovatively right. around other things that we could do. Mm -hmm. And that's how film came in. Mm -hmm. Then uh, secondly, uh, after improving your cognitive ability, we wanted the youth right. to start telling stories of their communities, right. of their experiences, mm -hmm. uh, with um, with uh, in, 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 in with with uh, poverty and marginalisation, because right. that was the the thing that we wanted to address. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. So, real quick, going for a, a short break. When we come back in the last segment, is now how you tell the people out there because. Uh, policy makers are watching, everyone is watching. So what we want to find out is um, how do we, you, what, what, what tools are you going to use, how are you going to do it to revolutionize civil um, space, you know, and how, to, how are you going to incorporate this and uh, play along with it, yes, after the short break. Yeah. Now do not go away, you're still on the continuous leading intellectual platform, the desk. Still in the corner, we are still in Mokono. This is an exclusive, and we are at the home, and we are actually of the home. Trust me, of the Jacob's trust me. Hub, where nice hub people around Mokono, people around Mokono come, subscribe, come, and use this hub. You have computers as well. You have computers as well. You have everything. 
Yes. You have everything. Super fast internet. Yes. Super, super fast, fast internet. You are super fast corner, internet. You are around the corner. You are around, you are around this setter. Worth your this place is worth your transport. Come. 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 And if you are a youth, you better sit back. You are a youth, you better stay back for a week. Even stand up because or even stand up because the best and this man is actually telling you. And this man is actually revolutionizing. Revolutionizing work spaces. Work spaces. 2021, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, you know, there are a lot of players. Uh, in there are a lot of society. players in civil society, and we do recognize. And we do recognize. Yeah. And uh, like we stated yeah. in and, uh, our, like we stated in our, we, we are not saying that our, we, we are not our, saying that our, our, our contribution our, or the work, our contribution or the work that has been done in the last five years is a complete problem. It's a white complete problem. We are saying mm -hmm. we are bringing. We are saying we are bringing an approach to this work. Approach to this work should one that should reach one to the last mile. You the last mile have not ordinarily been have not. Or have, or have not enjoyed a sustained uh, by, uh, you by know, other programs uh, that you know other programs that they have been able to benefit right. so we we, right. we so are going to do we, this we, we are going to do this through our hours where we have approach um, where we have five um, youth hubs like the one five you youth hubs right like the one you're sitting right across now. the country spread across the country here in west time somewhere in kisu in west somewhere in chigezi in west and in chigezi yes and in west there you have a facility like this yeah it's not exactly like this yeah it's not exactly like this as the yellow thing we are we are to that it will be like this we hope that best be like this and it's best to watch yes pack watch yes go so go. other than those five so hubs, other than those we, five hubs, we are also we, going to proliferate. We are also going to proliferate hubs, what we call so mobile hubs. Approximately so each of the five hubs will have two mobile, mobile hubs. We have two mobile, mobile hubs. Mobile. So the mobile, mobile hubs. So the mobile hubs is where the heart of our work is. is. You have a hub um, like this. You have a hub like watch. this. In that's watch. where you have all the that's resources. You have all the resources. You have all the technical teams. So it's the the launch pad and the point of replenishment. So the mobile hub launches. So the mobile hub launches. So the mobile hub launches from there. To go deep down in my village in Wadelai. In 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 places you've never heard about. Places you've never heard about. Places where you know somebody. Places where you know somebody was wondering they had and you're wondering what kind of a life they must. What kind of a life they must be. That's the person that we want to reach out to. That's the young people. Who are forced the to young people married who are forced to get married because of poverty. Right. So we want to take programming to so them. So we want to take programming to them mm -hmm. because you know uh, because reading, you know, reading, as, as reading, we are taking the opportunity. We are taking the opportunity. We are taking the opportunity. Taking the opportunity. So let me describe for you what is mobile. So let me describe. Okay, you're going, going to describe. But okay, you're going to describe. Is this realistic? What you're doing? Is this realistic? They've never seen a blackboard. They've never seen a blackboard. The only thing they know is the land. They know is split firewood and you're taking split firewood and you're taking with them a computer. Are we ready for this? Are we ready for this? The mobile hub is a multi-purpose platform. It's a multi-purpose platform. It's a multi-purpose platform. One. So first of all, it will have. So first of all, it will have everything that you have, but in a small box. But in a small box. So one. So they are going to have access to. They are going to have access to computers. Tablets. On, yes, depending on the context. Yes, depending on the context. They are going to have. Uh, they are going to have a mobile library. A mobile so library. library so them. we are taking library to okay. them. Then uh, okay. they are going. Then to have, uh, they are going to have. Uh, they are going to have. Uh, they are going to have. Uh, we have this system. We have for this system. For e resources, for e that resources. gives you okay. that gives the experience, you the, the experience, of, uh, the internet of, uh, yeah. internet we call it connectivity. the access point. Yeah. We call it the access point. I mean, the, the, point. yeah, the content I mean, access point. The, yeah, the content. Now the content point. access point. Now the content access point is. It's a simple device. It's, it's a simple that device. You connect to the way you connect to the way you would connect. And right there, you think you're right there. You have access to the You have Wikipedia. You have access. We can academy. You have access. All these beautiful All these beautiful land. But all that is. But all that we have downloaded, we from have here. downloaded from here. Because by 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 because having, by our, hands by, by having our hands on the day, by companies, companies the day, companies that they have, have agreements, manufacture them have agreements okay. to give websites. us the content, okay. to give us the for free, content, okay. and to allow free, our usage, and to allow our usage, and the regular updates of them, regular updates of them. So now we are taking that. So now we are taking that and the last mile into because we believe that they should have because we believe that they should have timely and relevant information. 
Sorry, the beauty about this now, the beauty about it is, now, the beauty about it is that it allows us to customize, it allows us to customize what information is, what information for who is, yeah, which means we shall not just have yeah, which means we shall not just have coming from Wikipedia and coming places. from Wikipedia. Yeah, we shall have Uganda. We shall have Uganda. African content. African shall have reports from. We shall have reports from. We shall have analysis from. We shall have analysis from other onto our content. Onto our content. Content. We shall have segments from. We shall have segments from. So if we're talking about so if we're talking about oil issue, for example, for example young uh, people in the West Nile should have access to that information. Access the, to the monthly newsletters of quarterly, the monthly newsletters right. of quarterly, uh, right. presidential uh, speeches, presidential speeches. Let's talk about information. Let's talk about information that is in terms of transforming the way we think about our country, we think about our country, and what yeah. we yeah. want to do yeah. about it. Yeah. So we're taking that information. So we're taking that information in the last few years. On your question of whether they can read or not, so we do recognize that we do recognize that we are those who may not be able so what are we going to do with them so what are we going we, to do with them we, we are extending uh, we, we are extending digital literacy. Uh, digital literacy so i mentioned this mobile so i mentioned this mobile, computers mobile computers 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 so we are going to teach computers so we are going to teach computers. we are going to teach this year we are going to teach this year uh, the basic packages uh, the basic packages we're going to teach them how to code we're going to teach them how to we have a problem called we are being ambitious we are being ambitious we have a problem we are not being ambitious we are not being ambitious we are being ambitious we have overrated overrated the Overrated. The coding is simply coding giving, is simply you know giving, giving the speaking you know, to the computer in the speaking language. to the computer in the then language. Then it's ambitious. Then it's ambitious. Then it's ambitious. But coding. Did I see that coding? Did I see that those small changes? Yeah. Those small things. No, no, no. It's 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 not game over. It's 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 not game over. And that's what we want to demystify. And that's what we want to demystify. We want to demystify and then put the tool in the hands of the tool. The last my youth. Because the last my youth. Because we want to be able to tell them that we want to be able to tell them that when you this this type. And this, 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 enter, this on your computer. computer. Enter. This is on what your it computer. Does. This is what wow. it does. As soon as they master, wow. as soon as they simple, master that logic, simple, they will be able logic. to interact. With they will the be computer. able to interact because with coding the is the language. That because coding computer. is the language. You and I are speaking. Yes. Yes. You yes. and I are speaking. Now all you need yes. to do is learn. Now all you need to do is learn that language. Then you have to. So we are taking that to my village. So we are taking you to my village. We are taking you to the last mile. Then I come from. Then I come from deep down there. I went deep down there. These people and they can't do anything. That's why when you do anything. That's why when the last my you said the I'm, last I'm my youth, I'm, I'm, I'm girl remembering a boy I saw that a girl or a boy I saw that the only thing they know is to ride a bicycle and go to the garden. The adaptability, the adaptability. Aren't you being so ambitious? Aren't you being so ambitious? Because these people get to know. We have students that are failing. We have students that are failing. The university every day. The computer science. How will a last my youth? How will a last my youth? So we are not touching. 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 But we are also approaching this with the humility that, uh, 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 you know, not everybody you know, will be able to, not to, be able to adapt, adapt at the same level. At the same uh, level. We did a comprehensive uh, survey. We did a comprehensive what survey to see exactly what the problem is. You have that report, and uh, you have that report, uh, you know, uh, uh, which informed the best uh, strategy. Which informed the best strategy. So we are, so we are, so we are, we are listing about the fact that it's not going to be an easy and not going to be an easy and we are going to be as patient. We are going to be as patient with it as we have been with the work as we have been with the work of this administration. And for us, so for us, focus on so this focus on breath death means and breath uh, how well i uh, uh, what, well what quality I, of life what, are you what changing quality changing of life how, how exactly changing 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 how, how exactly then changing then breath is how many lives are breath is how many so lives you choose which one you want so you have to choose which one you want to focus on them but uh, important uh, uh, but this, uh, for this particular uh, programming for this particular programming you're saying uh, there's something called most significant there's something called change most in the programming world. The and for us, we, we shall be paying a lot of attention. We shall be paying a lot of attention to that. In as much as we want to reach as many, we also want to pay attention. We also want to pay attention to one kind of significant changes that we transfer into their lives, transfer into by them interacting with by them interacting with highly innovative platforms, highly innovative platforms, and how do how does that interaction, how does that interaction then translate into solving the issues that we want to address, poverty that we want to address. Poverty and marginalized lack of participation, lack of economic empowerment, economic empowerment. How are we addressing them? How are we addressing them? Okay, then you know these are just studies. Then you know these are just studies. We can never, never, we can never exhaust everything on the desk in thirty minutes. But do you need government in this? Do you need government in this? We need everybody. We need everybody in this. We need everybody in this. 
um, it's interesting that uh, it's interesting several that, places uh, that we went to several places that we went to ask about to speak to you about, about uh, their opportunities for participation and, and whether they are uh, whether they are whether they are involved in planning whether they are involved in planning processes by yeah. different yeah. groups of young different different groups of young people and so our consultation and so our consultation also to different local governments in different places and to and to cut the story short and cut the story short and shall we because the problem is not just with the youth. The problem is 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 with the youth. Just keep them in a nutshell. Tell them what. Just keep them in a nutshell. Tell them what. So, so first of all, you you might be a young person. You might be a young person out there. And you're watching other things. So, a couple of things. No, a couple of people. That no, you should know. I am. I used to be. I am. I used to be a last mile person. I still identify myself. I still identify myself. And the difference between the difference between me right now is the opportunity right now. I the opportunity that I how I utilize that and how I utilize you to move me from. To my, my last mile status, status my last mile right status to where I am right now. I have and and I've made that my purpose. I've right made that my purpose. Right the, the same opportunity, the same or even more. Better ones, even to other last better ones. Use, so other last do not look use. down on so yourself. Do not look, look down on yourself. Look out for and opportunities. Uh, and yeah, uh, you will be out yeah. of poverty. You will be out if of you want to. If you, if you are willing to do the work, and if you are willing to do the work, it's not a magic bullet. It's not a magic bullet. It takes hard work, perseverance. It takes perseverance. So if anyone wants to reach, so if anyone wants to reach, social media, yeah, we are on, yeah, we are on at Vijana Four, at Vijana Four, spelled as spelled as V I J A I J A C O R P S O R P S. Facebook at Vijana Four Uganda, Vijana Four Uganda. Just as you get to the one I have just spelled. Until next week, same place, same time. Until next week, same place, same time. And of course, same host. Good night.